Travis Hunter turns down $1.5 million to go and play for Coach Prime. He also expected to be the top fifth draft pick in the NFL draft. I will give my opinion at the end of the video. Shout out to Well Off Media. What's good, YouTube? Mag Dog TV back with another video. If you're new here, stopping by for the first time, hit the like, subscribe button, comment. I really appreciate it. Also, hit the notification bell. That way, whenever I upload a video, you guys be aware. You know, new roster, a mm -hmm. lot of new players. Um, what have you seen so far from your new team and the new group of guys you have? Want, well, determination, effort, uh, camaraderie. Uh, uh, it's like a collection of young men who wants a second chance. Some of them are getting the first chance. Some of them are just trying to get to the next level as quickly as possible. But you, all of them share, all of them have a want. And they, they it's, it's like a desperate want that they got to go get it. Like they, they got to have it now. They're competing with everything. And I like that. That's one of the first things that I've noticed is the transition of the players. We watched these players from the spring to the summer. And we've been able to see them progress. we also been able to see some of the changes Coach Prime has made. I absolutely agree with him. These players are more hungry. They want second opportunities. They want to get to the NFL. And this is why these players are going to give their absolute best this upcoming season. A lot of coaches have been critical mm -hmm. from the amount of transfers. Pat I, I don't. I don't know how. Why? Pat Narduzzi specifically. Who is he? Pittsburgh. Head coach at Pittsburgh. Okay. He said this college football is not supposed to be. What? 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 What was the situation when he came into his situation? They were about 500 team or a little more. There's a bowl team, right? Mm -hmm. He didn't have to deal with the situation, so he's talking um, about something that he never had to deal with. I don't know this gentleman, but I wish him the best. I truly do. Mm -hmm. I don't. I, if he walked through here right now with his coaching uniform on, I wouldn't even know him. One of the things I've noticed as I've went around the facility as I've seen the team working out mm -hmm. is what the leadership of Shadur, mm -hmm. Shadur Sanders. How has he grown as a leader over the last year? Let's talk about from the year he had at Jackson State into yeah. the transition to Colorado. Now you've been coaching him a long time since yes. youth ball, high right. school, college. How has he grown as a leader over time? Well, it's so funny that his, his brother's shooting this right now, but his nickname and his name's in my phone and we call him Grown. His nickname has grown because he's always been truly mature for his age and the different stages of life that he's encountered and endured the different obstacles in life. He he rocks steady. Grown don't don't get flustered. He don't he's not a rah rah guy. He's not a I'm gonna talk about this. He 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 ain't built like that. It, it ain't too many things in life gets him up or gets him down. He is is what you call a baseball player and he played baseball mm -hmm. baseball players have the condition that they rock steady football players be up mm -hmm. six days because they only got to do it one and then they get to enjoy up to six more days baseball players got to do it every day so they got to maintain themselves and that's uh kind of his character but i i love the expectation that he's placed on himself our expectation of him is 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 far less than the expectation that he places on himself because not only uh, he has that tremendous expectation, but he's a Sanders, and he knows what that means. Two things real quickly. I absolutely agree with Coach Prime about this Pittsburgh coach talking about the transfer portal and all those things. And like he said, this Pittsburgh coach had the players when he walked into the situation. Coach Prime didn't. Coach Prime walked into a situation where these players was 1-11, so he had to make changes, and he utilized that transfer portal very good. I also agree with him about Shadur Sanders. Shadur Sanders has been leading ever since I've been reacting to these videos. That's what you expect from a quarterback, and he's been absolutely doing everything that he has to do to make plays to be professional to be ready for this upcoming season and this is why i have him personally as my top five heisman candidate it's no hype i'm just watching what i'm reacting to every single day you made news with travis hunter from the day that he flipped <laughs> yeah. from florida state to jackson state on national signing day when he went into the transfer portal when you came here, mm -hmm. there was questions about was he going to decide to make another well, move because yeah. some people came after him. Yeah, they, they gave him a million and a half bag to try to lure him and try to buy him. Mm -hmm. Travis ain't the kind of guy that could be bought. He ain't built like that. Travis is a relational young man that is built on relationships and stability. And that's, that's what he wanted and that's what he desired. 
That's why he decided to, to, to ride and to stay with us. But I can't wait till they see what he's capable of doing um, in these next couple of years. Because Travis, he'll be out after shooting you. He'll be a top, top five pick, top three pick, really, in my eyes. But the sky's the limit. He's going to play both ways. Um, he's, he's, he's a vital part of the offense and defense, and he wants that. He wants that life. How do you manage that? We have Travis. We don't have to manage that. Player. We don't. We don't have to manage that. His game is his game. We. It's nothing that we manage. Travis is bored when he's not on the field. Travis is 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 not intertwined with things going on when he's not on the field. Travis likes to be in the action. He. That's who he is. One point five million dollars is a lot of money for a lot of players and a lot of people. Drop a comment and let me know if you guys would have done the same. But Travis Hunt is definitely unique. He's special. I absolutely love the fact that he decided to come to Colorado. But if it was me, I'm gonna give you guys my opinion at the end of the video. But as Coach Prime said, Travis Hunter is very special. He can go both ways. He will go both ways. I absolutely love it. It's very exciting for a fan of college football, a fan of the sport, to be able to see a player dominate both sides of the football since seeing Deion Sanders we all thought that it would never be another player like Coach Prime and here we go we have Travis Hunter that we can sit and react to on Saturdays I can't wait a lot of changes we talked about it we've been talking about it necessary all changes necessary. don't just say change a lot necessary change. necessary changes it yes. was some it was some necessary changes that had to be made right. in the roster how do you like your team now going into the fall uh, as it. opposed <laughs> to the team you had going into the fall? um apples to oranges one second. Uh, it, you can't compare the two. Um, you, you're, you're talking about a situation that we inherited a team that was one and eleven, and everyone knows there's going to be some changes. I don't understand how you would think that the coaching staff is the only thing that deserves a change. Now, when you rid yourself of the entire coaching staff, so you think you're going to keep all the all the kids like that, don't make sense to me, and 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 that just don't make sense to me whatsoever. I don't know how they would think we were supposed to do that when this staff was responsible for securing those kids. That's not <laughs> that's not the way this game is played with us. Now from the standpoint of recruiting, mm -hmm. if a young man wants to play on your football team at the University of Colorado, whether he's a transfer portal or a high school kid, what does he need to have? To be accepted and to be signed. Well, where he got to have his grades correct. He got to have his grades correct. He got to be eligible, and uh, uh, we, compliance has to make sure that he's eligible. They do a wonderful job about that. And this kid got to be smart, tough, fast, disciplined with character. And he got to understand his coaching staff is old school. Not old fools, but we old school. So a lot of our principles and the way we attack the game comes from way back when, and we still that way because that way was the way, and it has not failed us yet. So it's a tremendous expectation, but we go hard, we play fast, and you gotta love this thing, man. It ain't, we, we don't want you to be in like with it. We want you to be in love with it. Guys, Carl Reed with 24-7 Sports, here with Coach Deion Sanders at the University of Colorado. Thanks for joining us. So my final thoughts, it was a very good video. As Coach Prime said, you absolutely got to have the grades. This school, you have to have over 60000 just for one year. So you definitely have to have the grades if you don't have a scholarship. Coach Prime is old school, so you also have to be able to be chewed out, to be yelled at. Those are the things you definitely have to be prepared for. Very good video. I don't think I would have turned down $1.5 million. That's just me. But it says a lot about Travis Hunter character for him to actually go and play for Coach Prime and turn down that bag at a young age. I do believe he will be a top five pick in two years. Overall, very good video. Shout out to Well Off Media. He have a lot more in this video for you guys to check out. I will have a link to this video and his channel in the description. If you guys like the video, definitely subscribe to the channel.